Question number five describes a uh, balloon that is accelerating downwards. Uh, it has up thrust, weight and air resistance acting upon it. And we need to say which of these statements is correct. Well, I would not go near this question without first drawing a diagram. So let's represent our balloon as this circle here. And let's mark on what we know about it. So we know that it has a weight acting down because weight always acts down. We know that it has an up thrust acting up because believe it or not, up thrust always acts up. And we know that it is experiencing air resistance. Now let's uh, think about which direction that's going to be acting in. Uh, we know that the balloon is traveling downwards. So it has a velocity that is acting downwards. We also know that it is accelerating downwards. So that tells us that there is a net force acting down. We'll come to that uh, in a moment. Now it's the velocity downwards that's important when we're considering the, the direction of the air resistance. We know that air resistance or drag always acts in the opposite direction to the motion. So in this case, our force F must be acting upwards. Now, we know that there is an acceleration downwards, which means the net force is downwards. That means that W, the weight acting down, must be greater than the combination of U and F. And now if we look at our uh, possible options here, that's this one. It says that the weight acting downwards is greater than the combination of the up thrust pulling it up and the friction, the air resistance acting on it, which is F, and therefore causing a net force downwards and a constant acceleration downwards. So our answer is D. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.